hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i am the fissy of glam by fissy and you are welcome to today's video welcome if you are not subscribed to my channel please do so don't come and watch it for free not subscribing to my channel and watching my videos is like reading the bible and not giving your life to christ Tomo. make sure you leave a comment in the comment section if you like this video in today's video i'm going to be talking about struggles um struggles upcoming artists face in nigeria i know that you can relate already whether you're an upcoming makeup artist or you're an entrepreneur i don't know why i keep clapping yeah so that's what i'm going to be talking about in this video so you definitely want to stay tuned and watch to the end so guys i did my eyes and my brows off camera so that this video does not get too long and boring i noticed you guys don't like long videos and i would not be listing the makeup products i'm using as i'm talking about or as i am um doing my makeup because this is a makeup tutorial the first struggle i'm going to be talking about is something i feel like everybody can relate to it because i feel like it cuts across every discipline so to say and that's like the continuous need and the continuous like the continuous pressure to always acquire new skills makeup is fast evolving every day there's new trends every day there's new new kind of makeup every day there's something new on the internet that you have to actually learn and follow the trend or else you'll be left behind today is foxy eyes tomorrow is reshade scale next tomorrow is z shade scale next tomorrow is um alcohol like there's just this there's just always one need you just have to keep learning with makeup it's actually a struggle for me personally that people like to like people like take you for a car i don't want to say joke really like people take you for a joke it feels like i went down mickey mouse clubhouse thing like a clown because everybody wants to be your model everybody wants to model for you so i came to lagos to come and do only shoot please where am i supposed to get money to keep buying products money to keep living life to pay bills if everything I, I do every time is just shoot 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 one day in the morning you know, somebody messaged me that ah she oh i bet it was next week in case i need the model this week so that she'll come and use the pictures for her birthday i'm like wow you can't even like book me and you're telling me with your chest that your birthday is next week so i came to lagos come and do shoot mm. People want everybody wants to model for you. Everybody wants to model. Everybody wants free job. Maybe not everybody. Especially extended friends and your extended family. You know what, what I mean by extended friends? Like people that you are not like close to, they are just your friend's friend, someone you just know from somewhere. But because they know you now, they are like, I'll do this one. Next next time I'll pay you, just do this one for me. Especially your extended family that don't even know what, how you made money or how you suffered and everything to to put up your kids and everything to put everything together rather they want free jobs because they are your extended family your extended family members i want you to say you are not doing the wedding makeup for free or something something for free then they, they want to practically this family <laughs> is there anything like this family they are like what are we sisters for and stuff what are we family members for the third struggle i'm going to be talking about hmm. hey what are we care though hmm. some clients want to like take advantage of you when they know that you're upcoming things that they know that they cannot try with already blown makeup artists because you're upcoming and they know you're upcoming want to take advantage of you funny enough i have experiences to accompany these things i'm talking about about two years ago i went to do uh, makeup from some brides needs and there was this lady there that was very she was looking very good she didn't even look like i was going to have issues with her or anything she didn't look like i was going to have issues with her or anything so when it was time to do her makeup i wanted to use my foundation she was like no that she does not like changing foundations that i should use a mac foundation i was like my foundation is good let me use my foundation that i know how i use them on my clients and stuff she's like no no let me just use i should use her own foundation and stuff i'm like okay this answer is nice when it was time to use lipstick again she was like no 
she wants me to use that old ruby oil which was my mac product i just felt like some people didn't like to change makeup products and stuff so when it was time for her to pay i didn't even know i was ever going to have issues with her paying and stuff she was like her, her bank app was not working and she was going to transfer to me that she was going for the reception that bank app was not working she was going to transfer to me that she not worry she transfer the money so i didn't even charge her a lot though i just charged her four thousand yeah that was what she was supposed to pay me so so i didn't get the alert early by the time i called by the time i was done at the hotel so i called her and told her i had not gotten the alert and she was like oh she already sent it that she checked i checked by the time i checked it was two thousand naira that was there and i and i called her i was like ah ah ma you were supposed to send me four thousand naira you sent me two thousand naira she was like eh she she just even sent me that money to encourage me that she wasn't supposed to pay me at all that makeup was bad that she had to clean the makeup that she just wanted to encourage me that she she knows that i brought my, make, my boss's makeup box for the job that i'm not supposed to be what ah i was already even feeling bad or like in my mind i was already sad that, wow and my makeup was good though so i was like feeling bad that how bad could have the makeup been because it was okay when i did the makeup it was very okay when i did that makeup and stuff so i i, I was even just going to tell my sister about it when i like when i get home that day so someone called me again to come to the reception to come and do a makeup. By the time I got to the reception, hmm, guess what I saw? I just saw this woman when she was dancing in front. I was moved in my spirit because it was just God. That's how I was not feeling bad in vain. I just saw this woman when she was dancing. And it was the makeup that I did for her that was still on her face. Makeup that she told me that she washed away. But I fucked up because I didn't even say anything. I, I went to call my sister. I was not telling my sister. That watch cannot do for me now. If anybody does that cannot do for me now, I'll go there and use wipes to clean the person's face. Parents of everybody or, or demand that the person pays me in full. So she was dancing, but I didn't comfort her. I don't know why I didn't do that. I didn't have sense. I didn't comfort her because I was so shocked that why would a woman like this that that can afford to pay me four thousand era like that she washed her makeup off her face because it was bad and then i got to the reception and she was still wearing the same makeup that she told me that she she washed off she would have noticed when she was telling me to use her own product something else that bothers me a lot i don't know if i'm the only one that faces this struggle as an upcoming artist is the fact that some modeling agencies eh, when you book their model they send you the most inexperienced ones because you're upcoming and even if you complain you are not going to get hurt i booked models more than twice now and they sent me their most inexperienced models and i'm very sure that if if you're like a blown artist already a blown makeup artist rather they would not do that because they want to send their best and i think it's very very unethical and it's not nice at all i keep saying it's not nice it's not nice at all it's not nice and i just such a struggle when i want to book models i have to always key and tell them that please i want someone that is experienced because why would i use my money to book a model that will not be able to post that will not be able to smile and when i actually complain they just tell me sorry upcoming someone that was already blown they would not send in experienced models to them so the next thing i'm going to be talking about this one baffles me <laughs> because i really don't understand I can't I can't place the logic behind it. I don't get it at all. Is it just me or am I finishing my makeup with you today? So as I was saying, this one shocks me. And it's the issue of pricing. Like because you're upcoming, people just want to price you down. They don't even think about the products you buy, your transport, your data, the work and time that you put into your ads. They just want to price you down because they know that you're an upcoming artist. So when I was in school, <laughs> it feels so good to say when I was in school, guys, when I was in school, I hated school. School is annoying me. During our final year week, a friend of my friend wanted to do a, a dinner makeup. And so she booked me and, no, she, she didn't even book me. She just called me to ask about my charge and stuff. So I just told her that I was going to charge her, I think it was three five three thousand then. Now that I used to feel bad for how much I used to charge when I was in school. She still had issues with it. Add that to five. Sorry, three thousand twenty-five. 
Next day, she said that no, she, she's going to pay 700. Uh -uh. I was shocked. I am still shocked because I mean, this was on the said she wanted me to do her makeup. I was really, really shocked because 700 naira for what? That was just last year. Like, for what? The only thing I can that I know that several that I can buy now is baby wipes. Cannot even buy like a um, normal eyebrow pencil. So it was shocking, like, oh. and I'm very sure that she knows that she cannot price other people, other people make up like that and stuff. It's, it's it's such a struggle because you know sometimes you want to just tell them that uh uh don't worry I didn't charge you. It is not. But there was one way I could even say that where I didn't charge you because she would have just increased it to one thousand, and at that point I could not even do. Any one thousand around makeup. See today, I, when I say I just look at her like this girl that was there to do seven hundred around makeup, like another struggle. Okay, I feel like a superwoman. I want to line my eyes and talk at the same time. Another struggle that I have been facing, and that I know that other people can relate to, is the fact that nobody wants to collaborate with you. I mean. Every time I hear motivation, <laughs> but like people always say that if you want to go places, go with people. If you want to go far, go alone. I just ruined my makeup. Go alone and stuff. But nobody wants to go with you because they are upcoming. Like it takes a lot to actually find someone that wants to collaborate with you. Photographers, when you want to actually shoot, you have to rent, book a photographer, rent a showcase, rent beads. Rent a model. Nobody wants to collaborate with you basically because you are not blue. So the last thing I'm going to be talking about in this video is the struggle of finding like social media validation. Like we are like at the mercy of social media if you're upcoming. Whether you're a makeup artist or as far as you're offering a service in today's time, eh, we are practically at the mercy of social Media. Some people want to collaborate with you because you don't have enough social media presence. You might lose um patronage because you don't have enough social media presence or you don't have enough followers to say. And I think that's shallow to an extent because that's just become the what do they call that stuff they used to weigh. That's just become what they used to weigh your your craft these days. I didn't know about this until I lost my Instagram page. It was act. When I well, was not as if I had a lot of followers, but I had well over 3,000 followers. So, you guys, make sure to follow my new Instagram. I think I have about just 300 to 400 subscribers now. I'm really not sure about this. I'm sorry, followers. About when you get a client and they ask on Instagram and they see that you have like 4,000, sorry, they have like you have like 400 followers, they are not always like eager to patronize you. Aside from the fact that they might think that you're a scam, people that don't even think you're a scam know that, knows that there are pictures or not like reach everywhere because you don't have like a lot of followers and that's such a struggle because I, I really do not used to understand why people do that until I lost my Instagram account and when people ask me they're like why do you have just 400 followers and I'm like and I'm just building the page again and I really don't I really don't get it so guys if you have solutions to all the struggles that I'm talking about Please let me know in the comment section. I am going to go off camera now to finish up the rest of my face. So guys, I am back and this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys love it. What do you guys think about this color? I think it's bright. It's definitely not what I wear like on a normal crown. Guys, should I wear more bright colors? What do you think about this look? This is such a quick bit, guys. And if there are struggles that I didn't mention that you are facing as an upcoming entrepreneur, basically, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure to like this video. It will mean the world if you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave me a comment again. I have said it like four times, so you guys know that it actually means a lot to me. And don't forget to let me know the kind of videos you'd like to see on my channel. Do you like chit chats like this, or do you just want makeup tutorials, or do you want challenges and stuff? Make sure to let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely try to film them for you. That just helps me not film what I want to film, but helps me film what you guys actually want to watch on my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in today. I'll see you next week. Bye.